bar. By that, I mean this. Look, let me show you exactly what I mean. This is what we all do. All of us do the same thing. We look up to the bar. You know, we all do that, regardless. So if there's any disagreement, that's where it should be handled at. On the bar. You know what I'm saying? Not no other stuff that everybody be trying to get on and all that. Nah. Think that you this and that, and handle it on the park. Get it over like that. You know, don't don't sit there and, and, and beef with somebody over something that you have a disagreement with them about doing something. Nah, just handle it on the park. A lot of people don't want to take it there. Hey, you know what, Paul? No? That's exactly what I was gonna say because I agree with you. That's that's exactly how it should be done. But the, the, what I was talking about before, I was like, people don't agree on things. Yeah. People don't agree on that even. Yeah, that's it's crazy. Like, uh, it's, it's, so it's like that's why I had so much trouble answering that question. I was yeah. like, that's a that's a deeper question than you would think. That's than I would only, think. That's the easiest way to prove your point. Don't say that you don't like this person because of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't prove it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get it on the ball. Because that's where it's at. You know what I'm saying? That's where we get our inspiration from. When, we get, when, when I get mad at somebody or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? That's what I do. I take it out on the ball. I'm going to push up and get whatever, you know what I'm saying, instead of getting physical, because that leads to other things, man. That's why Zeph created that video, too. I, I edited that video. I can't take all the credit with, uh, with these videos. Zeph is an artist as well. Yeah, he Zeph, is. Zeph created the whole concept for that. Um, the one I'm talking about is the Zeph and Beast. Yeah. Video. Yeah, yeah it, it, that was, uh, you know, this concept. But that's, that's what that whole thing's about. A lot of, you know, a lot of things that whatever get, get on your mind, make you angry, and you know, make you feel heavy, that weigh you down. That's right. And you know, use that to get it out of you. <laughs> with, you know, with the weight up off you. Right. Yeah. Great. Yeah, tell us, tell us people something that they don't know about you. you know, uh, they don't know. They don't know. Just uh, from seeing you, you know, what I'm saying what, what, what don't they know, man? Yeah. Um. See, I think everyone knows, a, you know, majority because if they looked at my my personal page, I got, I mean, I'm on the, the Clips on the Barbarians 2K page. I also got the Slick Rick one. Um, Tell I'm a musician. Page, yeah. I put, oh, Slick Rick 83. Okay. On so, YouTube. On YouTube. So uh, I play piano. I play guitar. And so you're a rock and roll dude. Nah. <laughs> no, I, I, I learned. I, I started when I was when I was younger. I played some uh, some music festivals and stuff. Classic, right. Classical music. Not a rock star. Oh, I just need a haircut. Music. That's all. Classical. I didn't get a haircut yet. So that's what you into. Classical music. Yeah, and I like jazz. So you saying you can work out the classical music? I can work out to it. Yeah. I ride my bike to it sometimes. I never hit the bar <laughs> to it. <laughs> and then. Uh, oh um, man. I draw. Okay. Yeah, I know that. You can see that on your page, right? That, 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 um, no, not, that wasn't your page. Not yeah, page. I got some drawings on there. But, um, that's a, uh, like I said before, every every sport, anything that has to do with athletics, I'm into. I love it. And uh, I guess, yeah, uh, as far as like, you know, what I do and physically, that's, that's almost everything. I, I guess, uh, I've been doing a lot physically. I've also been doing a lot of, you know, mental work to clear my mind. So maybe that's, um, I don't know, if that's a, maybe a little too personal to talk about. But really, uh, uh, this is love right here, and I feel love is um, expressing yourself, expressing your your feelings, and I'm just expressing myself physically, you know, through this type of movement. So I really been working on that, you know, being able to um, express myself, and that's uh, that's been a big thing, it makes you feel completely happy and free, so I, I let myself get worked up, you know, maybe last month about some things, I think there's a lot of uh, politics in that, that I felt that were coming along with this stuff, but then I just say, let me just uh, focus on what I'm doing, let me focus on barbarians, and and I feel, you know, really, feel really good. Barbarians, when I'm at the park with everyone, the, the, the word is really free. I feel free. I'm not worried about anything else. It's a great feeling. Now, 
This year, man, a lot of things have been happening. You know what I'm saying? With the, um, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. The contest is and all that. What did you say? Don't oh, ask me about the contest. I'm not going to ask you about the there. contest. No, I'm not going to ask you about that. No, everyone's been talking about that in the video. Uh, I was at the Bronx one, one, but not the Long Island one. Uh, what was your biggest dis disappointment this year, man? With the, with the, um, with the, bar, with the, the bar situation, the bar game. Well, no, nah, it ain't going to be the contest. It's going to be with... I don't even use that game any the word game anymore. That's not a game. It ain't no game. Nah, I'm just joking. But uh, oh, but anyway. Oh, what's, what is it? Though? What's the, oh, you're saying with the oh, not just with the contest, with anything. Yeah. Oh, what's my biggest disappointment? You know, there's, there's always gonna be people putting things up and and doing things that are maybe, you know, not what we like or would agree with, but there's always going to be people doing that. You know, I can't be in, you know, I'm not going to try or be in charge of anything, so uh, I'm, I'm definitely doing it for the love and for the fun. Uh, I've always said to myself, if it's no longer fun, there's no reason to do it, so I'm not going to break that rule. <laughs> so that's important to me. And uh, I'd say that as of now, no disappointments. I, I, you know what, I see it as... It's getting better and better every day. Yes, it is. It's yeah. I mean, it's really it's becoming more organized. It's be, you know, it's uh. I, I think by 2010, at least I mean I can only really speak for you know myself and and us. We train together and you know all my friends. By 2010, it's just going to be undeniable. People are going to see what we're doing and have to take it serious. I mean, it's it, it's really getting to that level. I already look at Zeph that way. I look at Zeph and I say, like, there's no way anyone can see this dude and not know that this is something very serious. So by 2000, summer 2010, it's, you know, uh, I have no doubt that it's, it's going to be at that level. And I, I'm happy with, you know, with a lot of things right now. I don't know if I went around that question a little too nah, much, but nah. that's how I feel right now. Nah, you said it, man. Yeah, you know right. Your, your disappointment was a way not to say it. You didn't have a disappointment, you didn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I was saying, I, I, I might, I, I did, I might, I might have felt like that, but, but it you wasn't know, nothing, I let it go. It wasn't nothing, it wasn't nothing. That really I did let myself get worked up at one point about okay. things. Like I was saying, I don't like um, all the politics stuff. I rather just, uh, you know, do my number, my mo number one thing. Yeah, work out. <laughs> Uh, you know, express my love for this, express my passion, and have fun. That's all it should be about. Well, you got, you know what I'm going to do, man. You know what I got to do. You know, this, this interview is not over our father because, like you said, sometime between now and um, December, you're going to release it. You're going to release a documentary. Documentary, yeah. I'm not saying you hope to anyway. Uh, yeah. but I know you're going to do it. You say you hope, but I know you, man. <laughs> I know your work ethic. I'm you trying. Know, I'm working on it. I know you're going to do it, man. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to cut this short right now. Then next time, you know what I'm saying, I'll see you or when you release that. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know I'm going to have to interview you about that. Do an episode on that? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that would be um, good. We'll catch back up, you know what I'm saying. We'll talk about other things. Or if something else happens during that time. Because like I said, we're getting ready to do this. This bridge thing, man. And when we do that, we interview everybody. Oh, yeah. On the spot yeah. right then and there. Tell them what, you, you can tell them what the bridge thing nah, is? Nah, nah, nah. I'm going to let that. Right, right. Yeah, that's that. That's serious. That. Yeah. That's, what, that's serious. That's why I said that I'm, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to try to keep up with tech. That's my goal. <laughs> this has been. That's serious. Another Strictly Bar Talk exclusive with Rick. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know a name for him yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to call him Rick. Your name? Yeah. What's your, what's your nickname? Slicky. Okay. Another interview middle school. with Slick Rick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to catch up with him again. But this has been an exclusive interview with Slick Rick at the Barbarians. You know, and you know what I'm getting ready to say. From the bar, to the people on the bar, to you. Holla. Jim. <laughs> <laughs>